Hello, carnivore hunters. It's Rick. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little hoarse right now. Uh, I'm not sick. It's just been a long day. Uh, actually, it's been a long couple of months because <laughs> uh, ever since we got back to hunt, or ever since we got back from hunting, got my brother and I have just been crazy busy. Um, you may have noticed uh, we we were per putting out a lot of uh, material in the beginning here and uh just between the holidays and everything else going on it, it's just been super crazy and so things have slowed down a little for us uh, but we just finished recording a video tonight uh, by the way i'm here to give you my six month update which was three days ago that's how busy we've been i haven't even been able to get in here to tell you uh how we're doing <laughs> Just the way it goes sometimes. Um, today, my nephew graduated uh, college uh, right in my neck of the woods. So we had a bunch of family come up and kind of unexpectedly, everything wound up at our house. So everyone's in bed now and I'm trying to keep my night shift schedule and I'm here to tell you what's been going on with me. Uh, so I'm going to give you my Six month update. I want to I want to start with some stats here real quick, and uh, you can see I'm not in my man cave today. I'm I'm in the kitchen because we've got people all over the house sleeping. So uh, you can tell I'm trying to keep my voice down a little, so I'm not disturbing anybody. But um, so I started this uh, carnivore diet on uh June, excuse me, June 15th of 2023. My starting weight was 240. Today I weighed in at 189 uh, point something. I can't remember. I would look it up, but again, we've got people in the house and I, I don't want to make too much of a ruckus, but I'll, I'll tell you 189 is not the lowest I've been. Um, <clears throat> since we've gotten back from hunting, I've I've hit a my biggest plateau yet. I I uh, my original goal was to lose uh, or to be below two hundred pounds before we went hunting, which I reached that goal barely. I I did lose some weight, and oddly enough, hunting. If if you watch, uh, I think it was our "Don't Make the Mistakes We Made" video. We we talk about some of the cheats, and we talked about how we've cheated too much, but we were, my brother and I were still relatively new coming into this. We had all these plans that were made already. Um, but since we've gotten back from hunting, I, I attribute the, the lack of weight loss. I, I was losing 10 pounds a month before. And I think that has slowed down because um, I was doing my walking at midnight where I, I was walking 15 to 20,000 steps every night. And that really helped uh, accelerate my weight loss. And since we've been back from hunting, it's it's a little too cold to walk outside right now. Uh, we're getting in the winter months. Last few days have been unusual, unusually uh, warmer. But um, I, I came home from work one day and I told my wife, that I, I explained in another video, we, we had just sold a, a a treadmill back in the springtime, which it was getting old and rickety anyways. So it was probably getting close to replacing. But uh, I came home and told her one day, we need to buy another treadmill. And we did. Uh, but I still been having a, a really hard time finding the time to get on it and do what I need to do. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I've done as far as exercise is at, at one of my very first videos I talked about, I bought these uh, resistance bands, and I thought that would be enough for me. Um, and and in my younger days, I was a weightlifter, and uh, I really enjoyed the heavy weights. The, I, I do like the resistance bands. You can get some good workouts in with them. But there's, I, I got to the point with the resistance bands where they weren't doing what I hoped they would do. 
as far as filling in. I don't want to bulk up a whole bunch anymore. I'm, I'm past that, but I do, I, I would like to tone up. And so I finally went out and I, the same time that we bought our new treadmill, I bought a, uh, a set of stackable dumbbells from Bowflex. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with that for now. And who knows, I may want to upgrade again later, but that that's where I'm at on my exercise and my weight loss. Um, my, my starting body fat was 37 at today. I'm at, uh, 25.4. My BMI starting was 35 today. I'm at 28.1 and my metabolic age is, uh, started at 62 today. I'm at 59. I'm 55. So I've got a little work to do, but. I've made a lot of progress, as you can see. Um, so some medical issues. I've I've had a ton of successes, and I'm still working on a couple of things. So let's start on the things I need to work on here. The first one, and my most concerning one, is my blood my blood pressure. Um, <clears throat> I actually went, after I had started the walking and had done that for a couple two three months. My blood pressure was back in check, and uh, and that was right about the time we were getting ready to go hunting. Is when I got my blood pressure back in check, and um, but when we went hunting, at, at this point I had pulled myself off of all other medications, at, and especially the statins, and we'll get to that later because uh, I really want to talk about the statin. But the blood pressure one is like that's serious. You've either got some plaque or calcification or something built up in your arteries, and and that's something you truly do need to heal. Um, and that's just from making poor, uh, a lifetime of poor decisions, right? Which I I did plenty of that. Uh, <clears throat> so when I got back from hunting, oddly enough, I took myself off. I, so before we went hunting, um, I was getting ready to take myself off the blood pressure meds. And, and when we went hunting, I thought to myself, I don't want to get us an emergency situation that, because I hadn't tested it. And I don't want to get us an emergency situation where my dad and my brother are going to have to pull me out of the field and call 911 or call in a helicopter or something. So I, I took the blood pressure meds while we were hunting. And then when we got back from hunting is when I tried to take myself off. I was at work one night. I got a headache that, I, and I know when my blood pressure go, uh, elevates because I get this headache. And so I went down to a blood pressure machine and it was once, it was, I don't remember the exact numbers. It was over, my systolic was over 160 and my diastolic was over 100. And I was like, crap. So I put myself back on the blood pressure meds and I'm still, I'm on one or two. I'm, I'm, ex, I'm experimenting with one or two. The bad thing is I'm not taking my blood pressure like I was. And I, I think I should be because I can, I can feel things in my chest that don't feel right sometimes. And maybe I should be on both of them, but I, man, my ultimate goal is to get off these medications and I'm, I'm, I don't trust what the doctors are telling me, so I'm, I'm trying to monitor myself the best I can. But again, we've been busy as hell. I haven't been doing the blood pressure like I should every day. I, I was really good at it for a while there, but I'm working on that. <clears throat> um, the other thing I need to follow up on is my kidneys, which might have something to do with the blood pressure. Uh, Talking to our favorite nurse, Laura Russell, um, she says your heart and your kidney work like a serpentine belt. You know, if you make the analogy with a car. So, um, if your kidney is bad, uh, you might have some high or some heart problems. That that's the way I understood it. Maybe she could explain it better. She's the nurse. I'm. I'm not, I'm furthest thing from medical. I'm just trying to learn late in my life. Uh, 
about nutrition and health. Um, what got me started on all this, by the way, is last December, I was told I was a type 2 diabetic. Uh, for years and years, I was told I'm pre-diabetic, and I thought, nah, I'm pre, I'm good, right? Man, no big deal. But man, to hear him say um, I was type 2, and at, this, at that time, I didn't know what dialysis was. And, but when you have some people that are on dialysis explain it to you, it's like, oh, crap, I don't want to go there. So, so when I was told I was type 2 diabetic, I, I tried to do a keto, um, which didn't work out well for me. And up until, you know, the, the June time frame when my brother introduced me to carnivore. I, I, that's in other videos. You can watch those. And it, it, it's a whole big, long story for all of us are in the same boat. For you new people that are considering it, watch the videos, man, because we've all got the same story. And it's, it's a journey, and it's a journey worth taking. Um, so what have I fixed? My cholesterol. My cholesterol. Um, I went in August uh, of 2023 to get follow-up lab work from that December lab work, and my cholesterol was back to normal, absolute normal. My HDL was five points low, which is your good HDL. Um, so I wasn't really worried about it. I was worried about the triglycerides. Um, my whole life, my entire life, I've been told your triglycerides are high. And in this last December, they were well over 800. I don't remember the exact number, but they were well over 800. When I went in last time, they were in normal ranges. And again, I don't, I, I have a, a lab video. You can I talk about all this and I'm going to come out with another, uh, excuse me, another lab video. Um, hopefully in the next month or two. I'm, I'm trying to get past the holidays before I do anything else. Uh, just, again, just been super busy. So, uh, But I'm super anxious to get my kidneys checked. Um, let's see. So my, my cholesterol is back to normal. My A1C, in August, I, was, I, I had gone from type 2 to pre-diabetic. As of last August, uh, in November, we had an open enrollment uh, with, and my, my work always throws this health fair where you can walk through these booths and, and get all, gather all this information for your health. And they had a booth that was checking A1C. So I was like, oh man, I got to go get on that. And so I went and got my finger pricked and got, got my A1C tested. And I was back down to a 5.4. I went from type 2 to pre-diabetic back to normal. I am normal with my, I, I'm non-diabetic now. <laughs> All on carnivore. I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I'm just telling you what's worked for me. I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you what to do. But this has been my experience on carnivore. Okay? My liver function, I was showing signs of liver failure. Again, it's in my lab video. Check that out. Uh, warning, I, I, I was very new to uh, health and wellness and taking care of myself. So I say a lot of stupid stuff in my lab video. But you'll understand when you see it that I, uh, you'll understand that I'm, I'm learning here. Uh, and as many of you may be, uh, or maybe many of you knew all this stuff going into it and just chose to make poor decisions. I don't know. I just made poor decisions and thought, yeah, whatever. But now I'm taking it. I'm, I'm taking this seriously because I'd like to see myself go past 60, 70, 80 years old. Uh, I'm 55 now, so I'd like to enjoy my retirement, right? <laughs> so. Uh, my lip, so my liver function. Um, we already talked about my kidney. Sleep apnea. I, this is another one. I, 
don't know, but I think I know. Um, my wife tells me I don't snore anymore, which tells me if if I do have any slap, sleep apnea, I, it's probably a mild form of it, uh, which I'm not. And actually, that could that could be related to my my high blood pressure. Uh, maybe I should go get that checked now that I'm thinking about it. So I'll talk to my doctor about that one. I might get that one rechecked. Uh, itchy skin. I've talked about that in other videos. And and actually, um, through my nephew's graduation parties and stuff, my brother and I and some other carnivores we were talking. I I can't explain it, but my I used to have super itchy skin and eczema. I had two separate conditions, itchy skin and eczema. The itchy skin has gone away completely. And there's something with my skin. I can't quite explain it, but it just, I think it used to be dry and cracked and stuff. And it, it's more oily, but not a gross oily. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. And it, my skin just feels healthier overall. I, I do break out an occasional eczema, and I think that's because of dairy products. And um, again, other videos, I have talked about how early on in carnivore, I cut dairy out completely. I was arthritic all over, from from my shoulders to my toes. I was arthritic. I I mean, and and I'm a bowler. I love to bowl. That's what I do. Um, and I was getting to the point like I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to bowl. And now, man, I can knock the pins out like nothing. I, I, like it hurt to grab the ball. It hurt to bend over and do things. Um, the nature of my work, what I do, you you have to sometimes get in some awkward, unergonomic positions. Um, and I can do all that now with it. I, I do have a lower back injury from when I was in the Navy years ago. That'll flare up on me from time to time. But my knees, my hands, my shoulders, ankles, everything feels great. Um, all that arthritic symptom is gone. Brain fog is gone. Um, uh, the very first video my brother and I did together, if you guys have ever seen the movie Limitless, I feel like I, I took that. Um, smart pill and not that it made me super smart uh but it, it gave me that clarity and it's a great movie you guys got to watch that but it gave me that clarity where that you know i can talk to people and not feel like i'm adhd and squirrel type thing right i i just i, I can focus on what people are telling me i've become a good listener <laughs> i don't get so distraught and you know dozing off or whatever uh eczema we just talked about that energy man my energy is through the roof um you, if you look through some of my brother and i's hunting videos i talk about how i almost gave up on hunting because i just didn't want to do the hiking or anything anymore and this year or this past hunting season anyways i was hunting like i was a 20 year old or hiking like i was a 20 year old it, it uh, I just have all this energy I didn't have before. I still tire out because of my age, but I think I can improve that where, you know, by next hunting season, maybe I can out hike a 20 year old. I, I feel that good. So, um, so we're almost done here. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was going to go this long, guys. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited about this that I've made so many improvements. And I, I just want to share it with everybody because, again, I'm not a doctor. But if, if you're looking to heal, try it for 30 days. It, it, what's it going to hurt? Um, so exercise. About a month into um, carnivore. The first couple of weeks, I wasn't losing weight, and that's when I decided to cut out uh, the dairy. And after I cut out the dairy, the weight started coming off, and but it was coming off kind of slow. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to start walking again and try to hit that that ten thousand 
that number. Um, and so the, the perimeter around my building, it's somewhere around 1.5 miles. And so on my lunch break, I, I started out doing a lap and then I was feeling so good. I'd do two laps. And so I, and then, you know, that's all I could do on a lunch break. It got to the point where I could, I probably could have done three or four laps easy, but I, I got the rest of my walking in at work anyways. And I, I got to the point where I was going from like, you know, three, four, five, six thousand steps to 15 to 20,000 steps. And man, that's when the weight just started coming off. So again, I think that's why I've pl or come, hit this long plateau because since coming back from hunting, we've been so doggone busy that, um, I, you know, I think even when you're carnivore, you're going to hit a point where you're like, man, I, I'm tired. I just, I want to sit down and relax for the night. Right. And, um, I, I don't know what else to say about that. I, I do plan on after the first of the year, actually, that's something else we can talk about in a second here. Um, I, I'm going to, I will absolutely pick the, the walking back up. I am hitting the weights still. Um, not as often as I'd like, but I'm still hitting them. Um, I did buy a treadmill, as I mentioned. So, um, after the first of the year, when, when things start to slow back down, I'll, I'll definitely be hitting that. Uh, we talked about the resistance bands, the, the stackable dumbbells. Um, so here, th this is a cautionary tale right here, guys and gals. Um, I, I, I got a little cocky going into this and I took myself off of all the meds, including the blood pressure before hunting and before hunting, my blood pressure did shoot back up a little bit. So I, that's when I put myself back on cause I didn't want to get us in a, a, a medical emergency. And then I tried again when we got back from hunting and it actually got worse. So, um, at, all I can say is work with your doctor on this stuff. I will say, however, with the statins, I, I don't care what the doctor says. I will not go back on a statin ever. And if that means I got to die of a heart attack, so be it. Because the damage statins do, way worse than having a heart attack 10 years early, I think. And so we're actually going to collaborate with uh, Laura Russell on this. And hopefully by the end of, uh, say, January, maybe early February, we're going to put, put out a video on these statins because I have, out of all the medications I've been taking, I've done the most research on that. And I, I don't know how the FDA ever let this drug into our system, but it, it's, it's killing us quicker than the cholesterol. If cholesterol is a problem, they're starting to say cholesterol needs to be rethought. Uh, and we'll, we'll go over that with Laura, I'm sure. Um, I'm so glad she's collaborating with us on this because she, she's got a medical background that she can absolutely talk more intelligently than me or my brother on this topic. I understand enough to know I don't want to take them, but I can't talk to it like a medical professional. So this will be a good video you guys will want to stick around for, for sure. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, all of my other meds, um, aside from blood pressure, because my blood pressure shot up, I, I've taken myself off. Um, I think I'm on one blood pressure. I was on two blood pressure, and that, that's why I think I'm still feeling some stuff, and that maybe I should get back on the other blood pressure med, but I was on two blood pressure meds, a statin, heartburn, uh, and I can't remember what the other one is. 
Right? You're taking so many, many medications, you can't remember what they're all for, right? That's a problem. And actually, statins might have something to do with that, and we'll talk about that. But it's, it's just, it's a mess, guys. The only way to get healthy is to eat a, the perfect human diet and get off the medications. And you can't, most people, I don't know if it's most or some. I, again, I'm not the medical profession or professional. But I think, I think many people can work themselves off of medication through healthy eating. And, and a lot of you probably don't even have to exercise. If exercising isn't your thing, just by eating healthy, I think you can get yourself off the medications. And we'll talk about that with Laura, I'm sure. So stand by for that. So my first goal was to be less than 200 by hunting season. I hit that goal. I've hit this huge plateau where uh, by February, I wanted to be 175. I'm not sure I'm going to hit that at the, this point unless I pick that exercise back up. And then I'm going to have to hit it hard to reach that goal. And, but my overall goal is to get off all the medications. So anyways, guys, we're almost 27 minutes into this. So I, I didn't think it was going to go this long, but I'm, I'm very passionate about this. I want to, I want to get healthy. I want to see all of you get healthy. And, um, I, so I've joined this carnivore, uh, community that's, trying to share this message and my brother has joined the community laura has joined the community and other friends we've been making that's the other great thing about this man we're making so many good friends and and collaborating with people that it, it's just it's been fun so um and i there's a lot of good things to come i can see it thanks for joining me Hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll talk to you all later.